thousand times. Leave me alone. They don't want to call them my motherfucking phone. Talk about Jeremiah got a motherfucking academic. Jeremiah got a problem. I've been telling these motherfuckers for two years. It's been two motherfucking years I've been telling these bitches that nothing is wrong with my son. They said, well, Miss Crumsey, Miss Crumsey, we told you last year that Jeremiah needed an IEP. Bitch, they been trying to give my motherfucking son an IEP since he was in second grade. Bitch, he in fourth. Bitch, they been, they been trying to give my son an IEP, bitch. That, that was my ass talking about some. No, we're going to stand for our black community. And we're not going to label our kids with ADHD. We're going to beat the system. We're not going to label our kids with ADHD. Fuck that. Bitch, they got ADHD. You want he got ADHD? He got ADHD? I believe your ass. Where can I sign up for the shit? Because y'all want to sit up here and want to sit up here and say, my son got ADHD, right? Y'all want to sit up here and say he got a mental illness, right? Oh, it's, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I motherfucker do it. Ah, she. And she said she wanted to do an inspection. She asked me about some motherfucking dogs. I'm gonna tell them I'm babysitting shit. There's nothing over here. She can come and do an inspection. Shit. Chico, shut the fuck up. You was a part of the problem. They need to come and do an inspection to make sure the hot water in the gas tank is not hooked up to the fucking um wires to the hey come on y'all where my village at are y'all listening where the fuck is the technicians on this motherfucker y'all got doctors on here lawyers on here motherfucking doggy care can a um gas line run through a um uh, I mean can a furnace line be connected to my my breaker? Can a can a water line be connected to my breaker? The gas line. Oh, cause when cause when when our fuse box go off, then our furnace go off, and our fucking uh 
our water tank go off. So every time our fuse box go off, the furnace go off, and the water fucking water tank go off. See, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. And when a man came out here, he said, he said he don't know. He said it should not be, but it may be. What the? What type of answer is that? What the fuck is type of answer is that? It shouldn't be, but it may. Oh, yeah. This is the... We're going to ask all the proper questions on this motherfucker. I'm going to show them the video. Matter of fact, I need to get on my other bigo. I need to get on my other bigo. I need to get on my other account. I'm about to show her the video. Everything been cut on illegally in this motherfucker. Don't you go in there, shit. Get your ass upstairs. This is what I do in the morning. Well, y'all, I swear up and down, I don't let my dogs out. I don't even be on here in the morning. I did y'all get y'all every now and then. I come in here and get y'all the morning broadcast. You know. Oh shit. She might want to see the upstairs. God damn. I need you right now. Damn. Oh, yeah, the, the other thing, 22, um... Like I said, with the home health days shit, like say you got an older person in your family, like the kids' grandparents tell her to say that she need help around the house and shit like that and put oh, you yeah. down. Or, or Patrick ain't, uh, he's sitting on his ass. He could uh, get some money too. No funny shit. He could write his name and get that baby money that the uh, the welfare pay for, like on some real shit. If he ain't got no criminal background or no criminal history, or he's not no pedophile or sexual offender like that. He could put his name down and get like a couple thousand because they pay more for the kids when they're younger. Shit like that. Like, yeah, but not for his kids, for the other kids. Nah, yeah, for the other kids. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, the twins. Yeah. The twins. Yeah, because I just, I just, like, I just, my grandma, she just, 
she just signed up to be my payee. So she got a provider number right now. And she could be getting paid, but she works now. She she's, she's supposed to have retired, but she, she said she's going to do another year. So I do need somebody else instead of her because she can't do it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta just find another older yeah, person. Like or something. The muffin man. The name. A lot of shit. Like he, he, he over there. He generates some type of income in that house too, man. If you don't get no SSI check, if you don't get no SSI check. He damn sure need something, bro. Like he need to help you way somehow. He helping me. I know a little bit, but I mean that nigga could do a lot more. You be giving that nigga slack for real, like that nigga. If shit, if I was your baby dad, I'd be doing a lot more over there. And shit, like there's a yeah, lot we, of we, shit. We, 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 we trying to figure that out because I'm about to start doing DoorDash. She don't have a license, so um, he need a license and stuff like that, so he can do this shit. Cause I feel like I shouldn't have to do shit. Nah, you shouldn't. Like, if you could sit with the DoorDash, treat him like a motherfucking kid. You drive and he hop out and uh go take the shit to the door like the fucking postman or some shit. Right. For real, for real. Patrick, do something, man. That nigga, he look, he making you look bad. You feel me? Like, come on now. That, that's some we real shit, though. We working on it. Like, working he, on it. I hope so. Man. I hope so, for real. I wish it Watching you advice and shit. These motherfuckers is mad because we about to beat the system for real. Like, I know everything I told you. Like, we we built the miracle. It's time for us to sit on our motherfucking ass. Right, now. exactly. You feel me? Did this shit. All right. Thank you. Please. People be working, walking, but these people be working. They literally is called indentured servants. They fucking modern day slaves. Yeah. It is. Yeah. We did that password. And it is, but I'm that shit. Somebody got to do it. Mama, you know your password. You going to say I ain't. Huh? Go put my phone back on the charger. You over here snotting. Shit, I'm thankful for our workers. Shit. How the fuck else we going to get our burgers and shit? Okay, day two. Aw, I can't wait till my friends get to. Excuse me. want to sit up here and cry and shit till you get out. Get in there. <sighs> I need this garbage taken out. I 
you took it out. Thank you. It was a scrubber in here. Now it's not. my lawyer though. Is that you knocking? I thought you were fixing Girl, y'all watching the way I walk? Okay, so what? I'm a little slew footy. Okay, so what? do everything at one time.
Amor. So what exactly are you telling me to do? To just inspect yeah, and okay. see what's going on. So, you know, it's that time of the year. I think we're well, about to have an inspection coming well, up okay. anyways from the agency. And I know that you had issues with the heating. So you just told me it was still lingering. Yeah. So um, he was able to get the hot water to work. Um, He's been working on it all morning. But I noticed that the guy who came, I asked him, was, the, um, was it hooked up to the lines? Because when we could plug up our heater or something like that, it knocks out half of the power. So we got to go down there and flick the box. And I feel like that's when the water goes off. That's when the, um, the heat goes off. And I asked the man was he, when he was here, I said, was it connected? He said it shouldn't be, mm -hmm. but it might be, but it shouldn't be. So we need to check the electric lines to see if they're all connected to the furnace. Yeah, somehow. just so you can see. I feel like every time it goes off, it's everything new. goes off. Yeah. Okay. It could. I mean, I'm not saying that's this would happen, but you okay. know, just to be sure. Yeah. Just Thank make you. sure those lines are separated. So okay. that's one thing. What other issues are you having? Um, I feel like this part right here, like y'all came and fixed this, but it. I don't know if they they say something about that. Um, this right here, it was something right here, but let me take a picture of that. It pushed all the way back. Like whoever installed these cabinets, they didn't put no no ceiling on it. So that's what all them them spots is, because it wasn't no like it just it was it's just bare wood. So okay. when the water comes and this happens and this happens, mm -hmm. it get drywalled rotted out. Mm -hmm. So I just want y'all to know that because after so long, it's gonna be um dry rotted and completely out. Um, and these stuff in the floor is just from the nails. From the weather stripper or something okay yeah but mm -hmm. honestly this time of year it's, i was just putting the plastic up over it okay i just did my own my daughter's room as well okay because, you know it's just proper just but okay. yeah if you're telling me you see like cracks or something i can look at mm -hmm. them just to see but typically it's just really okay so yeah that other than that y'all y'all been working on fixing everything guys everything else is fine it's just you know regular wear and tear but my whole thing is with this water mm -hmm. so I'm still going through thaw. So when initially did you guys become my land, my my landlord? Because you you that you, you sent me the lease and the text messages for June. Mm hmm That's when we took over property management company again. The owner owned the property prior to, but the property management company switched over to us in about June. Okay. So you're still going through the situation with? Yeah, because they're trying to back, back the um. Because I, I'm try I had to call my housing agency and see exactly when you guys switched over. Mm -hmm. Because the water company is saying that they want to back bail me for June because I've been trying to get it in my name. Mm -hmm. But they said they're gonna go by the lease. They are for yeah. the um thing. But initially, and they're gonna go off of the original date when you took ownership. Basically, when you were under even now. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that that's fair because I got videos of the services being cut on illegally in here. From them. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's separate. Yeah, they're going to go back to your lease, which is... March 11th. I think that's when I moved in here or something like that. March 3rd. Yeah, March 1st, actually, is the date that they had down. So you have this copy, right? 
That's the one that Eminem provided mm -hmm. to us. Yes. Yeah, and then we had redid it to when we took possession or took um what do I say? When we took when we decided when we became the landlord again. And that was in June. That was your company. Stop it, Matthew. Your section eight agency approved it on July thirteenth. So that's when you guys became my new landlord. Right. So that meant I probably submitted the documents in June. And they officially had, you know, processed everything by this day. So why is it being backdated June if it wasn't done to July? Because that's when we were advised you were in here. And technically... Because they had put a hole in an account and I couldn't even pay it if I wanted to. Who did? DTE and the water company. Because when I first moved in... Did they get situated though? Up this point, um, so see, I was calling them and calling them and calling them, mm -hmm. and they were saying that I wasn't being able to get it. It's a hole, it's a block. We got to talk to the landlord. And I thought we did that part. I was, this is before y'all. Okay. This is, that's what I'm saying. This is before y'all. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, this is before y'all. So I was trying to get it processed, but they kept on saying we, we, we're trying to see who this deal belonged to because services was legally cut on. So it's a hole in your, block, your, your account, you can't do anything. So I've been calling them and calling. So they finally, DTE, I'm not, I feel like I shouldn't be responsible for that anyway because I couldn't get the services on. I feel like when you move into a household, you're supposed to be able to get lights, gas, and water on in your name. Yeah. That was in March. So because I couldn't get services on in my name because they had stuff illegally connected, not wise, I'm billed with something I could not pay. I couldn't even pay them if I wanted to because they put a hold on an account because everything was connected illegally. So you were saying that you were subcontracting with them. So I didn't really understand that part. Like we're not you're... subcontracting. No, they were the management company at the time. But you guys were dealing together. Who... No, we brought the houses. So you brought the house, and he was the manager. He was the manager. So technically, you guys owned this house back in March. We owned the house back into yep, back in March. But you, but it was under an, another man management. Company. That's why I could not, because he could not prove that. He said, because when he tried to get the stuff on, mm -hmm. are y'all screen recording this? Can y'all screen record this? Thank y'all. Um, what are we screen recording? We're screen recording because the bill is on me to pay. So my lights and gas get cut off. Mm -hmm. It's, it shouldn't be my problem because you guys are saying that you were on the house, but he was subcontracting. Mm -hmm. So when the stuff was cut on illegally, mm -hmm. they're trying to say they could, he couldn't even proved that he owned the house you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. because you guys owned it but he so was just a, saying that he was it was a legal usage but that's the thing. right we're not that's nothing to do with us because when you moved into the property you're everything was cut everything on, right but i could your name right so i don't know what happened and transpired up until we took management which was when you and i or you i and chalice and everybody had spoke but he but um ali could not get the um services on he couldn't even put the services in my name because he didn't not? he didn't own the house y'all owned the house no, he could the same way we manage other properties for other owners yeah, so the, all of this is documented. Like I got, I can show you the video mm -hmm. right now. Where well, I could not going through everything. Yeah, and so but now it's all that. But you said you're taking it up in court with him. I don't know who to take it up in court with because you just got done saying you owned the house back then. It still was a management company in place. So even though you owned the house, he was the manager over the one who. So it's everything. his fault. Yeah. But the water. You didn't have contact with us. We didn't. Yeah. Know so about okay. That. I just so, didn't understand that y'all owned it, but he he was the manager. Okay, so it falls back on him. Okay, because I I feel like this is not fair. Like, but I mean, we don't move our tenants into properties without them having utilities. Right, because right. usually when I move somewhere, so I'm supposed to be able you to have say to provide you your you as the tenant responsibility is to provide me the landlord your account information. Right, showing DTE confirmation numbers and I could not, water confirmation because it was blocked. So you wouldn't have been able to move into any house without us. Okay, that's it. how y'all work. Okay, that's how our because he let is. me move and That's in why here. when you got the notice about us reaching out about water, we had to go ahead and make sure all of our tenants had water in their names. Okay. So and that meant yeah, I'm still trying to go through that. They mm -hmm. they're gonna take a while for them to back deal back mm -hmm. date because y'all. I think we signed. It was for June. Mm -hmm. That's what the lease say. For June. So, um, and everything. Yeah. Thank you. So, I don't know. I still don't understand, but. Because remember, I was still paying, and I was still paying him in June, though. Even though y'all, because I got those receipts, I was still paying. I didn't start paying y'all until September. So, I feel like if y'all had management of the company in June, in July, 
Why wasn't I, why didn't I start paying y'all in June and July? I didn't start paying y'all until September. You should have been notified in July when your agency switched everything over. No, I was not. Because I should have showed you the documents from the agency. Yeah, we, I didn't get notified. Your agency is supposed to notify you of every change and everything that's done. Yeah, I didn't get notified. I was still and the paying. the same letter I got is the same letter you should have gotten showing change in management and all the other business. So you have that letter? Turn on the slide. Yeah, and your agency can provide it as well. Yeah, because I... And July 31st. Um, I don't even know. That's what Mishnah has. I don't even know because I was this. still paying him. I'm trying to see where you guys are paying that. Nope, I didn't receive that. Nope. So, for what date? Let me see. I'm sorry. I'm trying to blow that up on my system. This must have been something you showed us. Because we keep everything, everything that was sent to us, we document as well. Mm -hmm. but, nope, I didn't get that. That's why I was still paying him. I was still paying him July, yeah, August. The effective level one in the management company. So this is the owner. And then we're the management company. So like before, it was Ali who was the management company mm -hmm. for the owner. Yeah, because so I didn't, I was, I was still paying him in July. Mm -hmm. This is the problem. I was still paying. He should never be receiving payment. So, so, so you, so you didn't, this stuff. so you didn't uh, know that my water wasn't on. No, I didn't know. Not until we had made contact and things like that. And every request you see that you send, I mean, we try to address it. So, so you thought my water was on all this time? Huh? My lights and gas? Well, we knew you, we thought your water was on and your stuff was in your name, mm -hmm. but because of the issues or whatever, you know, we're like, hey. Let's make sure the water is in your name. Okay. So, actually, can I take a peek at your water meter too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just to make sure. Cause there's any... Yeah, can you make sure? I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy. So, you're saying that they still won't get the water in their name? Um, I'm saying that what when they... The, um, water meter at down here? I don't know. <laughs> but I know all this stuff is over here. Right here. You're the one that had um, a box. Huh? How was this? This is new. Yeah. Okay. I just unplugged it because, as you can see, this not on. The furnace is still not on. But the heat is on. So I don't know, like... Why is it, maybe because I was asking you, maybe it's hooked up to that line because our last night when we plug our heaters in, the whole line, everything goes off. Well, half of the house goes off. Was this always? No, no, uh-uh. The cover right there. But we've okay. been trying to light it ourselves. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm going to send the guy back. I'm going to call him now. Um, I'm going to see your water line. I'm curious. Oh, that's the water line? I, I mean, never knew. Line. Yeah, the meter. Yeah, I never knew what it that was. Like it's set up correctly. So, I don't know. Um, and what is the water department telling you? Um, I called them last week because y'all, y'all, um, management company mm -hmm. said that they, because I had, um, went through online mm -hmm. and I guess it didn't go through. So I actually called them mm -hmm. and they put, I guess it's supposed to be on because the lady hung up. I'll call her. I'll call the water department just to double verify. And you're still having issues with the DTE situation. Um, no, the DTE situation is just a bill, a back bill. That's why I was asking about the back okay. bill. But I'm trying to go through thought to get that taken care of. Hey, I'm over here at um, Wadham and the furnace is actually not on. Remember the one where we had the issues where it was the um, bath or something that was around that time? So it's nothing around it now. It's completely open. Um, and I don't feel any heat either. You think it's the same line sometimes? Okay, I appreciate it. And let me know what you think. And can you also check out 
I don't know. And that's what I'm trying to figure out, too. She was saying that sometimes when it kicks on, it seems like it's blowing power. Is it a way for us to double check the lines, the electric, to make sure? I know you normally run them straight off of one, and it has its own breaker. But is it? A, do we? Ha, how do we trace it to see where that line is, make sure it's not tied into something else? Oh, because the walls and everything's covered. Girl, how am I supposed to fix that? I cut on the heat. Why y'all always talking shit? Damn. Just be positive. Okay. Y'all always talking shit. Okay. Um, can I call you back on earlier in about five minutes? Because I want to see what I need to do there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You'll be over today. Okay. So Other than that, that's it. I think we need to do some more painting up in here. Based on what I see, I see a lot of chipping paint. Uh, this is not good for the kids. Um, I it look better than this. This is my morning routine. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, now, I before when I lay came in here, when we was in good stead, and hopefully we still live, I'm just trying to figure out everything. Y'all said that y'all do hire somebody to come clean the carpet, but we pay y'all. How did that go? Um, if you want a carpet, it's probably cheaper than a Kroger, honestly. Kroger? Yeah, you know, they rent the carpet shop. Oh, okay. It versus oh. me sending somebody for two hundred dollars to fifty to put on your carpet. But they'll do the whole thing. Yeah. Up and down. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got two options. What is okay. It? Probably it's probably about forty bucks. Okay. To rent the little machine for a day. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to do that, and then yeah. if I don't like the way he do it, then. Mhm. Mm so thank you. We'll deal with that. Um, just let me know what you want to do with that part. But outside of that. You said you don't have any other things, so you're dealing with the DTE stuff. Yeah, the out. DTE water. Okay, and you said I don't need to call the water department. Yes, call them and see that it go and through. make sure it's in your name. Yes. Okay, Um. so I'll call the water department, double check on that. You got DTE handled, and you'll figure out, I'm sure, what, whatever you were mm -hmm. doing. I know you talked about the lawsuit mm -hmm. with him. Um, all your electric fine. I'm going to have the guy check out the furnace, make sure it's not running on one line. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to see and make sure. Okay. The best he can. So he'll make sure everything's back up and running for you. Okay. And then there was a guy that checked. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. And you also said the hot water tank went out, right? Yeah, he, he, yeah, he had to relight it. So I was asking. Yeah, I need to make sure, right? Why is it, it going out? Yeah. And then it was another thing. Y'all sent somebody over here to do a gas line for me. Um, It worked. But my gas dryer went out. And one of my um village from my platform had brought me electric dryer. That's what you see down there. So um, they were saying, like, I need a electric plug so i don't have that man number jesse yeah i think so I, I'm over. no it wasn't jesse it was not somebody else which y'all sent through my gas line he was a tall chocolate um man i think that's jesse. he bald headed though oh i gotta look back at your work history okay to see what, what the work order was who did the electric or the gas the gas line normally it, i thought it was jesse no it wasn't jesse i'll double check because you know jesse i'm mm -hmm. assuming yeah it wasn't him it, it was somebody him. else could have been johnny by any chance he was tall slim I, chocolate I don't know. oh okay I, mean, I just know our main guy is jesse he does all of our regular routine maintenance okay stuff, so no, it wasn't him though um and then james is the guy who's coming over he does most of our age no not the one that was like um not the box no. <laughs> Okay, so, Hi, thank you, Maria. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else I can do, okay. no, that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. All right, girl, it is crazy. It's just too much. We're dealing with a fucking house. That's why I say I wasn't ready to buy my own house. I'm not ready to buy my house yet because I know all this shit will be on me. If, you know, I can't complain about the Rex when it's garbage outside. So I gotta get another garbage can. We don't have um rice inside our house. No, I don't have no rodents, no roaches, no mice, no none of that in my house. So did anybody understand what, what the fuck she was saying? She said she owned the house back in when I moved in here, but it was under another management company and they brought the house back from him. How did you buy it from him and they, you already own it? I just, I still don't understand that shit.
She said she owned the house. She said they owned the house back in March, but it was under a different management company. Because I'm sure I'm about to call my lawyer. about toddlers just say anything patrick gonna do it patrick can you make him some cereal i'm trying to clean up so i can take him to, to get this covid test so he can go to school tomorrow request. Hell no. Mama, I'm going to go to school tomorrow. Mama, you guys do not go to that. I got to go to him trying to go. Um, you need to make any runs while I'm going out there? We can burn the coins for this. So he can get a COVID test. It's literally only five minutes. Five minutes swap. Y'all ain't about to give my motherfucking son no interview. Now, y'all bitches don't went too motherfucking far. Trying to give Matthew an interview. Now, nah, enough is a motherfucking enough. God damn it. Talk about something. He got tea to spill. <laughs> Talk about something because Matthew got tea to spill. You so happy to see your girlfriend. What girlfriend you got? Lola. Lola? You better slap Lola in her face if she kiss your ass again and tell your teacher like I told you. Okay. Now you gonna start you gonna start tomorrow fresh. You got a little haircut. If Lola kiss you again, you better slap her ass. And tell the teacher. And tell the teacher. This ain't no motherfucking my wife and kids. You ain't got no goddamn um girlfriend. Yeah, slap her. Slap the teeth out her mouth. You better slap her. I bet she ain't gonna kiss you no more. I don't care if she start crying. She better learn how to keep her lips off of you. You been talking about Lola. You ain't been in school for a month. You been talking about Lola every goddamn day. Lola this and Lola that. Fuck a Lola. You going to school to get your education, not Lola. Talking about some motherfucking Lola. Fuck a Lola. My mama sending her school to be a hoochie. If her mama been sending her to school to be a hoochie, you gonna slap her with the laws and commandments and say, I gotta marry you first. You ain't my wife. You can't be kissing all up on me. No, you ain't gonna get married. You gotta get you some education first. How about so we gonna get married? No, the hell you ain't. You didn't even know how to read. How you gonna get married? Uh -huh. Ain't that about bitch. He feel like he done beat the system. Talk about something. Well, we gonna get married. It ain't funny. Mom, you take me Right, he ain't following the goddamn laws, nah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take you to... No, they gonna come pick you up on the bus. Who? 
the bus driver. You got a collar? I'm still like done with this it's kitchen. It's in the back, okay? It's in the back. You want to see the bus? Daycare. It's a it's partial daycare, partial school. They got preschool on one side and daycare on the other side. Yeah, it's free. They're free for four year olds. Yeah. 